Um, in this uh, video, we're going to be showing you an unboxing an EK6100J electronic digital scale. So you can see A&D delivers this in a simple cardboard box with the A&D logo. Each unit is serialized and the model number is marked. So we have here again EK6100J and the serial number is right here. So let's look inside and see what's included. So you can see the packaging is right here. So we have the scale with plenty of styrofoam. Then we have the manual and then on this side, we'll pull it out. So that's it. That's all we have. So what did we get? We got an AC adapter. And we only sell in the USA. So these are a 110 volt AC adapter. You have the A&D manual. The manual, you'll see it's for the EK610J or EK6100J and these are legal for trade for the US market so this is the manual for that and then you also have a warranty card and then you have nice styrofoam and you'll see you have a nice large stainless steel platform and then the scale itself so that's what you get when you unbox a unit. I'd like to try to show you some of the features. So here's a unit that I've set up and just want to explain a few things. So <clears throat> on the front of the scale, um, you'll notice we have labeling identifying at the very top the model number along with all of the weigh units in the readability. So you have 6,000 grams, 1 gram is E, and E is the verified unit, and then we have D is equal to 0 0.1, which is the display resolution. So if you notice, the scale is reading 200.0. So the last decimal place is boxed or their diagonal lines silt screened on. So I'm going to shut off the scale so you can actually see. So those lines get, stay right on the scale. Um, this is because again D is the minimum division that the scale can display and E is the verified scale division or value of the verification scale division for legal for trade. Um, you'll also notice here the, the weighing platform you have a nice large removable weighing platform. It measures 5.2 inches by 6.7 inches. Um, you have a large 7 segment LCD display with backlight. The backlight's a little hard to view with this lighting, but there is a backlight display. If you look at the scales display, again, we've already mentioned about the, the, the last digit here has the uh, slashes across it because it's legal for trade. There is a five button design here to, for complete operation. So these five buttons are tactical keypads and you, with positive click. So you can actually hear when you press these buttons, you know. So if you've shopped around, you've seen some of the new scales or newer models now have touchscreen display. The problem with the touchscreen is they don't always work if you have gloves or wet fingers. Tactical keypads don't have these issues. If you open up, uh, if we open up the user manual right here on page three, um, A and D does an excellent job explaining all of the key functions. So these five keys control everything for the setup. Um, in the manual, it's very clear, easy to read, um, we sell a lot of different brand balances and unlike scales that are made in China, Switzerland, 
or even Germany, they're very hard to understand and follow. A&D does an excellent job, step by step, giving you in the instructions how to complete an operation. Um, you'll notice also on the front of this scale, <clears throat> since this is legal for trade, the very front, there is a sticker saying the Conan feature is not legal for trade. This needs to be on the scale as part of the requirements for NTEP approval. So that sticker can't be removed if you are using this for a legal for trade application. Um, if we turn the scale on the side, and I have another unit here, so the scale on the side has the markings that it's legal for trade, giving you the model number, the CSC, the II means it's a class 2 balance, and then the serial number. So each unit is serialized. So again, this is a legal for trade scale. Um, in regards, so I just want to go back to the, the, the keypads here. So you have multiple way modes. So we have grams all together if we press the mode key once. This is piece count, percent weighing, ounces, pounds, troy ounces, carrots, mummies, penny weight, and grains. So you have multiple weighing functions with this scale. Um, so <clears throat> on the rear of the scale now, I just want to talk a little bit about, since the scale is legal for trade, um, to perform calibration is a door. This door has to be removed, and we need to press the button to perform calibration. Um, for legal for trade scales, there has to be a lockout. So that door gets locked out by weights and measures putting a wire through here and crimping it. There is a DIN 9 connector here, I need to stress this, it is not active. So on the rear of the scale, you will see it says RS-232 output is not functional. So again, you cannot transfer data to a PC or an external display. Here's your power jack. We have a sprint level bubble for leveling the balance. We have a mounting bracket here for putting a security cable. And this part here, there's a door that's, this actually has the battery in it, but it doesn't come with a battery. So standard, when you buy a unit, <clears throat> there's a door on. If you wanted to run it off a of battery power, you have to buy the optional battery pack. So this is the battery pack. You have to purchase it from A&D and it just slides in. Um, on the bottom of the scale, we have four adjustable feet for easy setup. On the... 6,000 gram unit, there is an underhook that you'd have to buy the optional underhook and it screws in right there on the bottom. So those are some of the features. Um, let's just try to do a calibration to give you some idea on the functionality of performing a calibration. So to do a calibration on this scale, I go to the rear of the scale first and press the cal button. And you'll see the scale right away reads Cal Zero. So it's looking for the reference voltage at null state. And what one does is press the Enter key. And it's going to store that value. Then it displays the required calibration weight. Default out of the box is 6,000 grams. So I have 4 kilograms, 2 kilograms. You place it on the weigh-in platform, then you hit the enter key. You'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, there's a circle that says it stored the value. Then it states end, remove the weights, press the mode button, returns the scale back to the weigh-in mode. Simply put a weight on, and your scale is calibrated. Now, one of the nice things about the EKJ series is the calibration weight is user selectable. It's always best to at least calibrate with 50% of the capacity. I'd really recommend that people calibrate the scale with a five kilogram weight, but a five kg weight's pretty expensive. So 
we can go into the cal mode and I'll show you how to change it. And we'll just say we'll use a two kilogram mass to calibrate. So what one does is press the cal mode and this time we're going to press the sample key. Um, and it shows 6,000, that's the default. So to move it over, the decimal place right now, um, the first decimal place is highlighted by flash and we press the sample key to move it to the right. And now to increment it up and down, well, it goes up, it rotates up. We press the tear key. And so we're going to set it this time to 2,000. Now you could set it to 500. You'd set that to zero and just set it to 500 if that's what you want. And then what we need to do is hit enter so it stores that value. It goes back to Cal zero. We hit the enter key. Stores the value with no weight on the platform. Now it flashes 2,000, put a 2,000 gram weight in the center of the platform, press the enter key, it stores that value, end comes up, we remove the weight, the weight from the platform, hit the mode key, scale returns back to the weigh mode, and we put our 2,000 gram weight and you can see, with a 2,000 gram weight, it does very well also. So it is user selectable, and you can see when I put this weight in all the quadrants, it's very repeatable. Um, the lab this, this balance could be used in the laboratory for weighing water by weight, uh, not by volume, for a higher level of accuracy, since water... Uh, one milliliter of water equals a gram. This EK 6100J increments in a tenth of a gram division. So you'll be able to determine the volume of water by 0 0.1 ml. Others might want to weigh out a pint of water, 16 fluid ounces, and that would weigh uh, 1.0435 pounds. You can even weigh up to a gallon of water. Additional applications would be uh, for people doing uh, engines where they weigh the pistons. If, if we had a piston and we were blueprinting an engine in a crankshaft, they want to perfectly balance it. So they put on each component and weigh it and get each one to match perfectly to balance the engine. Um, finally, one other application is the soils in material testing. So for concrete and asphalt, uh, they do de density determination where you have to buy an underhook, and we did make a video on that. Um, one final thing, again, this scale is legal for trade, so I just want to show you. This is the Certificate of Conformance. You can download this from our website, and it just shows you here the Certificate of Conformance number. It explains the scale, the models that are included. And on the next page here, it talks about right here, test conditions and what they actually do. And, and you'll see right here, the devices were temp uh, tested under this temperature range and a load, approximately one half the capacity was placed on the device 100,000 times. So the bottom line is, the majority of the scales out there are not legal for trade since they could not pass this tough testing. The only way you're able to succeed in testing and get legal for trade approval is by using the highest quality load cells in excellent, well-engineered products, and A&D does that. We are Precision Way and Balances. Um, you can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. Thanks for watching this video.